Hey everybody, it's Angela, and I got tagged by Jan, and she is Pokefan2001 here on YouTube, and uh, she tagged me with the uh, the questions kind of about yourself, and so I'm going to go through these. Um, I haven't really uh, thought about any of my answers, so it's going to be totally spontaneous here. It says, how did you come up with your YouTube name? Um, my YouTube name is Molson352, and I know it's spelled weird, um, but it is pronounced Molson. Uh, it's kind of like Molson beer, or Olson with an M is how I always told people when I was growing up, because that was my maiden name, and uh, it is of Polish origins. My great-grandparents came to the United States from Poland, so, uh, and my grandfather, he spoke Polish in the home, and so that was my maiden name, and I don't remember why I started a YouTube account in the very beginning, um, but I just kind of used my maiden name at that point, and so um, I've since gotten married, and um, I've just left that the same, and so that's where that came from. Um, it says... Uh, who or what inspired you to create a craft channel? And I think that the person who really finally inspired me to really kind of take off with my channel was um, Ro, and that's Roseanne Paxman at, at Scrap Girls. Um, she uh, was the owner of Scrap Girls, uh, of which I'm a uh, product designer um, there. And... Um, and actually, Debbie sent me, Debbie is the new owner, and she sent me this at Christmas, this sticker. Isn't that cute? And so anyhow, um, I had had the channel. I had put a few little craft things out, and Ro had said, you know, I always tried to keep my digital scrapbooking separate from my other scrapbooking and crafts. And Ro's like, you know, you should just tell people everything you're doing, whether that be with Scrap Girls products or without or, you know, things that you're making and connect with people and so I really took that to heart and um, started putting out there all my products and you know everything I do whether that be digital or you know m more traditional or a hybrid or whatever um, I'm just you know kind of putting out there the things that I like to do and um, hopefully giving back to the YouTube community, the crafting community and stuff, and I'm just making friends and, you know, having a good time doing it. So um, that is what inspired me. It says, did you always love to craft with paper? Um, you know, I mean, as a kid, I loved doing paper crafts and crafts in general, but it didn't necessarily have to be with paper. Um, I have always been a drawer. I like to draw, I like to oil paint, and um, I've done those since I was very young. And then I got into portraits, and I drew portraits for a long time, and then I started designing um, uh, illustrations for wine label companies, and actually um, I'm still doing that off and on. Um, so you'll see some of my illustrations are, when you look at a wine bottle, might be one of mine. Um, but uh, then I got into scrapbooking um, just as a way to kind of document and do especially my heritage albums because um, I was doing a lot of genealogy in a computer program and it just seemed kind of cold. You know, you print out the report and the family tree and and that was it. And I wanted a way to take some of those old photos and intertwine it with my family history and make it a story and make it feel warm. And so scrapbooking started from that and um, I would help, you know, people restore their digital photos, um, old family photos that were damaged and things like that. And so the scrapbooking kind of came um, from that. And, um, you know, and then my, you know, childhood want of doing crafting in general, just, you know, I started picking up all different kinds of crafts and I just really enjoy it. It's, it's an outlet for me. And, you know, it's, um, I can't say cheap therapy because 
I probably buy too much um, product, but um, it is therapy for me nonetheless. Um, it says, what's the bleep you don't like? Um, that's a hard one. Um, I guess just, um, if it comes to maybe like YouTube or something, um, it's people just being like super negative on, on comments. Um, I know Saw at Saw Crafters, some people had said some bad things or whatever, and, and, um, you know, I've had a few comments on videos or whatever, and, and if, if it's a legitimate, you know, um, observation, awesome. But, you know, if people are just mean for the sake of being mean, then that, you know, I don't know. Life's too short to to be mean. So I guess being mean is what I don't like. <laughs> um, it says, uh, one thing you want your subscribers to get from your channel. I guess um, if you get an idea... If you get, uh, like Jan was saying, motivation, um, I don't know, if you just get entertained, <laughs> um, uh, any of those things, uh, and if you just want to reach out and talk to me, um, if, you know, I've made friends, awesome friends through YouTube, and that's just been a blessing, and um, if, you know, we can all make some friends through YouTube, that, you know, is really something, something we didn't have, you know, five years ago that we have now that's just, you know, um, a great thing in our lives. Um, let's see, next one. It says, what's your favorite craft or stamp company? You know, I don't have a favorite. I love most of them. Some of them maybe, you know, certain lines, not so much if it's not my style or taste or whatever, but Usually I can look at pretty much anything and find a way to use it. Um, and depending on what craft I'm doing or what topic I'm doing, you know, I, yeah, I don't have favorites. I love them all. Um, it says, what's your zodiac sign? I am a Pisces. And I'm not even sure what the qualities of a Pisces are. I've never been into that, so I'd have to look it up and read about it, but um, I was uh, born on the Ides of March, so that does make me a Pisces. Um, let's see, what new craft slash hobby are you interested in learning in 2013? New, oh, I have so many, and I'm pretty fully allocated <laughs> at this time. Um, I started last year working out and so I've been trying to work out usually I work out from three to six times a week so that really you know even though it's it's not a huge amount of time it has taken time from other things right now I'm at I have to give up something to to take on something new but I think that um not really a craft, but my hubby and I are thinking we're going to build a pizza oven. We've been planning on building it for a long time now, and uh, a big, like a dome oven, you know. So I'd love to learn how to bake and stuff in that, and how to, you know, cook a pizza in it or something. I don't know if any of you know, I, I like to grind my own wheat and... Um, make all my own bread and and we eat try to eat as close to the original you know unprocessed foods as we can so um that'll be kind of a new hobby for me is is you know <laughs> using a pizza oven um which makes me realize I better not give up the 3 to 6 days a week exercising if I'm going <laughs> to eat the pizza um let's see here did you ever think you'd make YouTube videos? Um, no. Uh, I am more of the hermit type of person. Um, I'm in the background, and I'm taking care of my family and my close friends, and I'm not usually the one out in the spotlight or anything. That is one nice thing about YouTube is that, you know, you can do it in your own home and on your own time schedule and stuff. So... 
it's nice that I can connect with people and make friends, even though, you know, um, I have a lot on my plate and a, a lot of activities and things that I need to do and jobs and and family and stuff I've got to take care of. I never thought I'd be doing YouTube videos, but um, crafting is a big part of my life, and I wanted to share it and, um, you know, meet other people with like interests, and that's um, been a really very positive part in my life this past year especially. And so I'm looking forward to keep making YouTube videos and keep um, getting to know you girls out there and make more friends and get more ideas. And um, it's been a really, really positive experience so far. So I hope that that has, um, you know, kind of, I don't know, answered some questions about me or given you some insight about who I am and what I'm about. Um, I think, I don't know, pretty much most of my friends here on YouTube have already been tagged by someone or another. I'm wondering if, um, Olga, uh, Miss Enyona, uh, has been, uh, tagged yet. If not, Olga, I think I'm going to tag you, uh, to answer these same questions, and Olga is just such a sweet gal, and she's in the Ukraine, and um, so I, I'd love to hear her answers to the questions. So anyhow, um, thank you very much, guys, and I really enjoyed doing this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.